Can I get punched through walls? I can get punched through walls. We'll get that. I think it's disgusting how public opinion has turned on David so quickly. Like All right, Pritchard. I don't buy for a second he was with purity first. I think he'll come for you. Eventually. Well, well. If it isn't Attila the Hun, fresh from the killing fields. If this is about the typhoon, I'll get to it in a minute. I love how Pritchard's now, never okay. happy with you, no matter what angle you take. You lose it in a pile of CPUs and SCSI adapters. Well, look at you, using the big words. SCSI's not that big. Don't think, just because you hacked through the plant security system so fast that you're an expert on everything computer. There's a reason I can't examine the typhoon yet. Do tell. For your information, well, I am anybody. running a diagnostic sweep on our network and router security to find out how Sanders Hacker got a hold of our codes. I'd have thought the first question to ask is, whose codes were they? Unless you already know. Stick to kicking down doors and shooting people, Jensen, and stop trying to do my job. Sounds good to me. I guarantee you we'll get along better that way. Okay. Also, I see you got a candy bar on there, mister. It'd be a shame if I jumped on your desk, crouched down, and whoop, took it away. Also, yes, we do have the arc of CRT monitors here in the year goddamn 2027. All right. Got to go. Oh, where the hell are we going? Did you tell me where we're going? You probably told me where we're going, huh? Meet Sarah in the penthouse. Okay, we just need to get to an elevator. So there's one right over here. Scratch my eye there for a moment. Build up. <laughs> Need to make a world record for largest CRT monitor arc. It's true. Penetration testing is for scrubs. <laughs> Unless that's a euphemism. You, might not have put the gun in Sanders' <laughs> hand, but it was Taggart's speech to the UN that started all this. William Taggart is nothing if not a shrewd political operator. You know that, David. So for the sake of appearances, I have to look him in the eye and let him bullshit me? With a smile. Always with a smile. We'll talk later. Mysteri the mysterious man fades away. Of course, we already know who he is if you watch me? the other playthrough. Yeah. And hey, now we have one of these. Better days. Well, when we're done here, check him at Dr. Markovic at the Limb Clinic downtown. Get her to get a checkup. If you insist. Listen, about Sanders. You did what you had to do, son. As far as I'm concerned, Sanders got what he deserved. So don't start second guessing yourself. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. But that's not why I brought him up. Sanders was tricked into attacking us by the hacker I caught going after the typhoon. He's the man we really needed to interrogate today. Exactly. Only he killed himself to prevent any chance of my doing that. That takes real dedication. Yeah, or training. You're sure he was augmented? I yeah, cable's, cable's coming out of his side. head. <laughs> yeah, well, the police are saying he's not, and they're refusing to let me see the body, no matter how much money I threaten to pull from their retirement fund. All right. Well, of course they wanted to go in and have fun like I did. Well, maybe they didn't like being held off so long at the plant. Is that my head of security speaking? Or the ex-cop? No, Listen, just a bloodthirsty monster. I don't want to squabble about this. I need you to get to the bottom of it. you still got friends on the force. You think, uh... You think one of them will let you into the morgue? Maybe. Depends who I run into. Get over to the station and find a way inside. Because if that hacker was augmented, his neural hub might tell us who he was. Contact me when you've gotten a hold of it. Yeah, sure. You got it's it. It's not a problem. <laughs> and actually, we're not the portion I thought we were, which is fine. Do, 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 do. More elevator rides. Oh, the excitement. There we go. We got a beautiful view outside. Everything, of course, is bathed in my favorite colors, so no problem. Adam Jensen. My office. 
Was it now? Ah, oh, yes, this asshole. Man, what am I doing here? This is nuts. Hello. Hey, Jensen. Man, it's good to see you. I'm glad you're back. How are you holding up? I manage. I'm sorry about Megan. I know it must be hard. For a while, we thought you were a goner, too. Everything's going to shit. The attack on HQ, and now this mess with the factory. Yeah. Tough times all around. How about you, Corella? You okay? I don't know. I... Uh, I fucked up. I mean bad. What happened? Well, a couple of months ago, me and Tyndall, you know, one of Pritchard's techs, we started sneaking out some neuropazine from one of the labs. Jesus, Tim. You realize this could get you fired. Worse, arrested, if the company chooses to prosecute. What were you thinking? I know. It's just... it's complicated. I didn't want to do it at first, but there were good reasons. Anyway, now I want out, but Tyndall has security footage of me stealing the stuff and says he'll expose me if I ever stop helping him. I'm in a bad spot, Adam. I need that footage back. I know you're busy with everything that's going on right now, but I could really use your help. Okay. All right. Tell me more. Really? Wow. Thanks, Adam. I thought I was done for. The security footage will probably be on his apartment computer. Meet me in front of the subway station parking lot once you get a hold of it. Okay. I got it from here. Not a problem. Easy XP's. Not that I really need them, but let's have some fun. That's what playing the game's all about, right? Let's go ahead and go the right way. Now we're off the leash. We can do whatever the hell we please. And I'm a big fan. Oops. I think the first place I'm going to head is over to the gun shop. Because they have something I want. Also kind of want to head to where Don Jordan and his wife live first. Because I have some unfinished business with them. Mrs. Reed? Oh, Adam. I'm sorry you startled me. And please, call me Cassandra. You and Megan were together long enough. I was waiting for you. Out here? Why not come meet me inside? I don't know. I guess I'm just not ready. This is where you work, but to me, this is also the place where I lost my daughter. I try not to think about it. Oh. Uh, well, I guess it's the sensible thing to do. I just don't know if I'd be able to. But then again, after what you've been through... Yeah. A lot of things changed six months ago. I can't get over how much they've changed you. At first, I couldn't even believe you were still alive. How do you handle all of this? I never asked for this. They say they saved me, but I'm not sure saved is the right word. I understand your anger. Kind of just opposes the first position I took with Malik, but oh well, got decision for me either. But that being said, I for one am glad that you're still among us. Can I ask why you wanted to see Pick me? up the hinge, yes, Jensen. Course, Come on. <laughs> right, tiny shopkeeper. About wink. Megan, about what happened to her, or rather, about the investigation into what happened. What about it? Well, simply put, I feel something is not quite right with the way the case was handled. You think there was some foul play involved? I do. Call it mother's intuition. But when speaking to some of the investigators, there were a lot of inconsistencies. And then I met this detective, a man called Chase. He agreed things weren't handled by the book, although he has no proof. And now you want to find out more? I'll never hear my daughter laugh again, Adam. I'll never get a call from her to ask how I've been, or have the chance to ask her about her day. She was stolen from me. However unjustified this all is, I still want to know why it happened. You're not the same, Adam. And we've yet to see if it's for better or worse. But I know you loved Megan. Please. Will you help me find out what really happened to her? Okay. 
I never got a chance to investigate the attack myself. I'll look into it. It's on Thank the way. You. This means the world to me, Adam. Really. The first thing I'll need to do is meet with this detective, Chase. Good. He works part-time as a security guard in an apartment building on Brooklyn Court. I'll be waiting for you in your apartment lobby once you're done. Why does a detective need to work part-time as a security guard? Oh, he retired soon after the case. I don't really know the details. Maybe he'll tell you more. I'm on it. Maybe. And then she zooms away. All right. You believe it? We I believe it. Uh, let's see. Now, where the hell was the shop? It's been a while since I've ran around Detroit, so just hold on for a moment. All right. I'm pretty sure it's around here by the limb clinic. And here's all the other places we need to go, so let's go ahead and head that way. Get faster sprint. There's a lot of things I can't get. Well, you know what? Well, it's not a problem. Not a problem. Let's go here first. I don't want to approve of these protests. That's cool, lady. Nobody cares. No one cares about your protests. That was a great ah, cutscene. Mr. Jensen, David Serra told me you'd be dropping by. I've just been reviewing the test results we received on you last week. Should I start rolling up my sleeves? Surprisingly, no. I see no trace of glial tissue buildup in any of your charts. It's been six months, Doc. Shouldn't I be on neuropazine shots by now? One would think, but these test results show no signs of implant rejection. If anything, the bond between tissue and electrode seems to be getting stronger. That's so kind of go. Well, Mr. Seraph did ask me to discuss another topic with you. You are aware that several precautionary measures had to be put into place during your first surgery? Not all of my implants were switched on, I know. The damage caused by the hematoma <laughs> had to be taken into account. Your brain needed time to recover, to get used to the mechanical neural processors and turn them on naturally. Yes, yes, rationalizing but your bullshit. Mm -hmm. What does Seraph want? He feels that you might be ready to speed up the activation process. Can we just activate them all without paying money? As Praxis kids. You mean I don't have to wait for my augmentations to kick in naturally anymore? You can, if you prefer. But Mr. Seraph did make a generous donation to Lim in your name. Thus ensuring that Praxis software linked to your particular neuro enhancements would always be available to you and you alone. Please, take a look. In a book. This is reading Rainbow. Okay. She's got... Uh, I do like how the Flame Clinic has goddamn ammo for the uh, Typhoon system. Even though it's a brand new system, it's kind of weird. Alright, we'll take one. Very well, Mr. Jensen. I would like You'll to get another. Good health. Actually, probably don't have enough to sell. Can they even sell weapons here? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Uh, hmm. This is awkward. Also, speaking of awkward... Oh, there you go. I was going to say, where's the speak Will option? Will be purchasing... Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I can't sell anything here. I'm just getting a minor. Did you hear about the protest? Upgrade, but even so, it's stressful. Wasn't there a free Praxis kit in one of these? I can't remember. And since I lost that first one, I need to find the others. Hard, the machine does your breathing. More of that. I know it sounds weird. Also, I do love how they let me just wander around back here. No one tries to tackle Jensen as he walks around. Very nice of him. I guess it wasn't. I'm probably thinking of another place. Oh well. Maybe thinking of a different game entirely. Protesting is not against the law. I know. Du -du -du. Adam, are you finished at the clinic? For now. Kind of. Good. Right now I want to know who that corpse is. 
Head over to the police station and get his neural hub. And Adam, if you can't talk your way in, consider making a strategic retreat. There's got to be another entrance in the side of the building. I have to wait until I get the jump hog. Hmm. All right, well, there's another place we can go. It's not a big problem. We could also sell some stuff here. I'm a wager. You got anything you want to buy or sell? I'm the guy you want to deal with. Everything's on the computer, right at your fingertips. All right. Sell. Uh, let's go ahead. How much are these? It's pretty good. Eh, it's pretty worthless. These things are goddamn candy. Yeah, I don't need that stupid shotgun. The ammo is fairly... <sighs> Oh, it is one shot. I was wondering why that was so cheap. That explains why. Could sell my software. Gotta drink that beer. How much money do I have now? Ah, plenty. Excellent. Be sure that... I will. I will tell all my friends that you're the best. Up. Let's go ahead go back in here by that other Praxis kit. Why we don't have an endless supply of these, or why we need to have different copies of the software, is never explained. Give me your praxis. Give it. Always a. Always a pleasure, indeed. All right, let's go to the thing. Oh, does that cost another thing? Piss. Let's see. What does this even do? Oh, I, I get with the first level. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. I thought I was mistaken. Yeah, now I can jump high. Jumping high is important if you're going to go for a non-hacking playthrough. Because that door, unfortunately, at the top of the st top of the ladder is impregnable. But there's another way I can get up there. All I need to do is be a little creative with my jumps. Hop, 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 hop. There you go. And if I look in here, oh, well, you know, there's a sniper rifle. What do you mean it's too full? I know what you're too full of. Shit. How big is this fucking thing? Is it too long? What are you telling me here? Let's go ahead and drink our beer. Need to go up that way? Is that what you're telling me? There we go. Drunken having a sniper rifle. Go and pick that up just because. Ah, oh, there you go. Not a whole lot of shots for it yet, and it is unsuppressed, but it is a sniper rifle. It's pretty good. Let's see, I was actually planning on putting that on my bar. Okay, it's already there. Good. This will be handy. Alright, let's holster that. And let's go ahead and jump down here. Grayson hooked me up with some real tight merch. Still buzzing from that beer. Not a big problem. I'm thinking about getting my pit bull on method. Get him to fight a pawn. This guy and his pit bull. This city is one big gutter and always will. So of course we have the door here. Don't think I can get over there just yet without hacking. I think it requires level two. I think you can actually get the code from somebody. I'm trying to remember who. Yeah, we don't have the code. This is no hacking. We can't just blow this gate off the uh, off the thing, Bob's. Maybe I can jump across. Let's try it. Let's see, of course, this is for a side mission here. Or at least it should be. There. Probably don't need the Icarus system for this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can jump across. And if I can't, well, I'm about to fall. Yeah, there you go. Let's 
see. I don't know which building I'm in exactly, to be perfectly honest. I could be in the right building already. Is this the place? No, no, no. It's down a level more. Too many of these doors are unbreakable. It's pissing me off. Is this one unbreakable? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I don't have a health bar. Hmm. <sighs> Game. I can't get in here without hacking. Come on. It is only a level one. Alright, so we need to go around the world. Not a big problem. Almost certainly going to be detected here. I wasn't. Hmm. Should have plenty of time. I can even grab that data sword, probably. Access nope, granted. I was too slow. Because, of course, I have... Uh, no good attachments. Let's see, I think we need to just use the computer here, and it'll trigger the next segment. There's the gate code, 002. That's where I remember getting it. Yo, Pendo! I know you're here, man! Is he here? Are you sure, sir? We have a guy with a shotgun running around. What? You think you can just cut me off? Yes. Come on, man! I need my new bug! The shit hurts! Don't make me- There we go, we're gonna leave Tim to a little present for out on this floor. Like we're a kitty. What you got inside? Do you have a pocket secretary? Yeah, I can carry your shotgun somehow. Yeah, fit it in there. I'll fetch you some monies. Your fragile boxes, get them out of here. All right. I was going to say, how the fuck do I open this thing again? How do my thumbs work? Let's go ahead and put this away. We don't need to run around with that sticking out. Let's see, is this the place we want to go? I think it is. Not this floor. Hmm. Am I confused? I must be confused. Pretty sure this is where Don Jordan lives. But for the life of me, I can't remember exactly where. Maybe it was this floor. Ah, oh, maybe it's this room. Although it would be open if that were the case. Ah, here we go. Oh, no. Hmm. Now this is not the right building. This is not the right building at all. Close, but no cigar. You need to go out and go to the other one. Let's see. Where was Don Jordan and wife? just fall down. I think they were in this building that we were just in, or at least on. Can I get into this building? Maybe? Please? They actually might be in that building, too. Maybe they are. Let's go check. Oh, the excitement. Need to talk to John Jordan because, of course, that arms dealer we just saw, I can get a discount from him. If I have to talk to Don Jordan first. No. What is with all these doors that are unbreakable? I don't, I don't remember that many uh, unbreakable doors in this game. Also, I love how the slum apartments have these unbreakable doors, too. That makes it even better. 
I could hack that one, but it's not my interest. It's not what this playthrough is about. He might be in the same apartment complex as the detective Chase we need to meet up with. Is this it? No. <laughs> this is most assuredly not it. Okay. Let's go find Detective Chase. I'm pretty sure it's that building. 